Uh, welcome everybody to uh, today's keynote presentation. Excited to have you here at MJ BizCon. And um, we've got a lot of great stuff to talk about today. And um, my name is Scott Campbell. I'm the president at Adium. Uh, Arroya is a business unit within Adium. And uh, I was one of the people that helped found Arroya. And I've worked at uh, this business for gosh, um, 20 years, so, um, although that does count uh, when I was a kid and um, when I was the janitor uh, of the business as well, so. Um, so, uh, what, uh, what we want to talk about today is a uh, core belief that it's the very center of everything that we do at Arroya, and that core belief is that quality science equals quality data equals quality plants. Our business got its start back in 1983 as a manufacturer of scientific instrumentation for agricultural and environmental research. And since that time, building sensors that are more rugged, smaller, lower power, higher accuracy, higher precision, has, those things have been the driver of growth in our business. And all of these sensors operate in the substrate plant atmosphere continuum. Now before Arroya sensors became the crop steering stars of the cannabis world, they first gained popularity in high-tech greenhouses of Holland. At the time, growers there were using a crude handheld sensor to measure pore water EC in stone wool substrate. Now, this, uh, these handheld sensors were really inaccurate, and we were able to eventually convince the famously skeptical Dutch that a sensor based on the Teros 12 would not only give them higher accuracy, but better access to real-time data. These growers of peppers, cucumber, tomatoes, and eggplant were the first to use Terrace 12 technology at scale. It would not be until 2019 that the first Arroyo sensors were installed in cannabis grows. Back then, and this is, this is an amazing grower back in the day, uh, beautiful and strong. Um, back then, growers would change control settings and then spend time in the garden observing how their plants responded. Growers learned through a slow, painstaking process of trial and error. Arroyo changed all this by deploying a, a network of cloud-connected sensors into the grow that wrote uh, cultivation data to a permanent record every three minutes. Once light, climate, and substrate data were visible to growers, they could connect what they were seeing in, in their plants with real-time data. It also gave them a, a journal where they could collect notes and pictures to drive their productivity improvements even faster. What you'll see today if you use Arroyo for crop cycle monitoring is a combination of science, sensors, and software specifically engineered to help you achieve uh, continuous improvements in your productivity. Now, as we've watched growers progress through levels, uh, these levels of productivity, we've noticed that they tend to fall into five separate categories. And I'll talk a little bit about those, those categories. And uh, progress up through these categories is predicated on um, the use of a crop cycle monitoring system to improve. So at the lowest level, a grower could be measuring nothing, or if they do measure things, they don't record any of that data. And I'm sure you know some grows like this. A significant improvement in performance can be had just by progressing to the next highest level, and you don't even need sophisticated sensors to do this. Uh, most sensors can accomplish this goal, which is to eliminate over and underwatered plants. The third level we call relative crop steering. What growers do here is deploy sensor, a sensor network like Arroyas in their, their grow, and then they adjust their climate and irrigation strategies to drive generative or vegetative signals to their plants at appropriate times during the cannabis plant's life cycle. Um, and uh, the, of the growers that we visit, um, typically about 10% have achieved this level of performance. 
And just to give you an idea, um, yields at such grows um, are typically in the 70 to 100 grams per square foot of grade A flower per harvest cycle. Now these top two levels of uh, cultivator competence are absolute crop steering and model or AI driven crop steering. And I'll talk, touch more on those in just a moment. There currently aren't any growers that are operating at that level. Now since the launch of Arroyo, our sensors and our software has been, have been copied many times. And we don't really mind because we consider imitation to be the sincerest form of flattery. Each time a new sensor comes out, we take it into the lab and we test it versus the Teros 12. And while the Teros 12 is still the best substrate sensor available, um, it, uh, we have always known that those top two levels of cultivator competence could only be accessed through a fundamentally new substrate measurement technology. Let me show you why that's true. Here we'll use a fictional grower that has two facilities. The first facility uses HPS lights and cocoa coir substrate to grow plants. The second facility uses LED lights and stonewall substrate. Now this fictional grower's most uh, valuable strain is white runts. And on their last run of white runts, they got 23% less yield at facility B than at facility A. So why did this happen? Well, we don't really know. Because using today's sensing technology, uh, when you have them installed in the grow, this happens for two reasons. Facility A uses HPS lights, which generate about three times the radiative heat of LED lights. And because of this, they cause wide swings in the readings recorded by climate stations, which also affect humidity and also affect BPD readings. For this reason, we can't compare the climate readings from the two facilities. Likewise, cocoa coir and stone wool have different moisture or uh, different moisture release curves, and because of <clears throat> and uh, because of this, we can't compare the readings that are taken in the two substrates. We've always known that capacitance sensors are influenced by volumetric water content. What this means is that as the volumetric, uh, volumetric water content goes down, the apparent pore water EC goes up, even if the actual pore water EC hasn't changed. Now, the Teros 12 is the only sensor on the market that is specifically tuned to reduce this effect, but it can never be totally eliminated from capacitance sensors. So for that reason, we can't compare the pore water EC readings between the two facilities. That is why we have spent the last seven years developing the next generation of cultivation sensing technology. Today, I am proud to introduce to you the Teros One. The Teros One is the first substrate sensor in the world that can measure pore water EC with no influence from volumetric water content. It can get readings up to 20 decisiemens per meter with an accuracy of plus or minus 2%. And it does this because it uses a method called the complex dielectric, which is so impressive that we received a US patent on this method last year. And I am happy to announce that, um, that as, as growers and cultivators, you should expect technology to improve and costs to come down the Teros 1 will actually cost you less than the Teros 12. In order to dive into why this sensor is so special, I'm gonna have to show you a little bit of lab data, so please bear with me for just a second. In order to uh, do this comparison, we're going to look at data from a sensor that was inspired by the Teros 12. Um, this, and we say that it's inspired by the Teros 12 because it looks exactly like the Teros 12, except it's black, and it's made in China, and it can be purchased on Alibaba. So, when we lab test this sensor, we run it through all ranges of dielectric permittivity. So you can think of that as water content. And then we measure, the, then we have the measured EC versus what we know the actual EC is. So to make it a little bit simpler, what we expect to see for all levels of salinity 
is an upward sloping diagonal line where, where all the lines are on top of each other. Okay, that would be a, a, a perfect sensor. So what we can see is that the inspired by sensor is not very inspiring. As dielectric permittivity increases, you can see the different salinity levels start to give you very different readings. Um, and the Terrace 12 performs much better. Its lines are much more linear, even at a wider range of pore water EC. And according to our lab data, the Terrace 12 is about twice as accurate as the sensor that it inspired. If we compare this to the Terrace 1, there is near perfect agreement at all salinity levels and across all, sorry, at nearly all salinity levels and across the entire range of water contents measured. It's truly stunning performance means that now uh, that, that with the Terros 1, that, uh, and with the launch of the Terros 1 today, it has made all other substrate sensors obsolete, including the Terros 12. If you just remember one thing from my presentation, let it be this. The Terros 1 delivers accuracy and precision every time. Now that we talked about what it is, let's talk about what it does. Once you deploy the Terros 1 at your facility, you will be able to confidently compare data from different harvest groups, different cultivars, different substrate types, and different facilities. You will be able to repeat recipes by perfectly matching osmotic stress. And this isn't all. I am also happy to announce the release of a Climate One, which is our newly completely redesigned climate station. The Climate One has aspirated temperature and relative humidity sensors that are protected from condensation and also a calibrated CO2 sensor on board. This, uh, this climate station will also allow you to attain and uh, maintain peak performance faster because it allow you to compare readings between different facilities and harvest groups. Taken together, the new Climate One and the new Terrace One mean that absolute crop steering is here. Now we see across all eight parameters that we're measuring in the grow, with our white runs uh, harvest group, we can confidently compare uh, data from those two runs. So indoor and greenhouse growers have near total control over what happens to their plants, or at least they should. The new uh, absolute crop steering uh, platform allows you to apply that control with laser guided precision. At Arroyo, we believe that quality science equals quality data equals quality plants. It's for this reason that we have a team of researchers and developers specifically focused on the inventing new types of sensing technology. The Climate One and the, uh, uh, the, Climate One and the Terros One are just the latest examples of this commitment. And it's a commitment that I don't see in any other um, companies in this space. Now, as exciting as all of this is, we do know that we are obsoleting a legendary sensor in the Terros 12. So let me reiterate. First of all, the Terros 1 will cost less than the, than the Terros 12. If you happen to be a Terros 12 user today, your Terros 1 plugs directly into the wireless communication node that you already have. Just unplug your Terros 12 and plug your Terros, Terros 1 in. Um, and I'm also happy to announce that we will be uh, giving upgrade allowances that will make uh, getting Terros ones into your facility even more economical. Now that we can compare those two harvest groups from our example earlier, I'm also hap happy to announce the beta availability of cycle similarity reports. What these reports do is um, what these reports do is show how the two harvest groups are different from each other. So we just took all of the um, data from the two runs and tell you which parameters are the most different, right? No, remember, quality science equals quality data equals quality plants. We, before constructing the cycle similarity reports, 
we come through the last 100 years of horticultural research to build a comprehensive cannabis crop model. We then use the crop model to ingest absolute crop steering data to pinpoint which parameters are making the biggest difference for photosynthetic rate, biomass accumulation, uh, evapo rate of evapotranspiration. It's by doing this that we can tell growers where they should focus their improvement efforts. Now that we've talked about absolute crop steering, we can talk about the highest level of the pyramid, which is model or AI-driven crop steering. There are currently no, um, no products available in the market that actually do this, although someday there will be. And it's for this reason that Arroyo has teams of data scientists and developers committed uh, to building AI tools for growers. But we will do so carefully. We will do so based on scientific first principles. And now with the added, uh, with the added benefit of absolute crop steering data that is fit for purpose. Any products that are based on AI that you deploy at your grow without these characteristics are at best a waste of time and at worst they expose your business to unacceptable levels of risk. So all of the things that we talked about today would be enough for a normal MJ BizCon, but I do have just one more thing. All of the sensor technology that I've announced today will be available for everyone through the new Arroyo Go platform. Arroyo Go is everything you uh, that you love about Arroyo in a box with the subscription included. It has two substrate sensors, uh, the new Terrace ones, our new climate station, wireless communication capability, and a gateway. Simply plug in all of these, uh, all of these uh, sensors and your gateway, and in less than 10 minutes, you can be streaming crop steering data to the cloud. This setup is perfect for small grows or R&D projects. It costs just $24.99, and it has no monthly fees. Um, it, I'm also excited to announce that it includes irrigation scheduling capability through the open sprinkler interface. It's an incredibly capable and powerful platform that will allow you to make better decisions in any size of grow immediately. So to finish, uh, we've talked about the climate one, we've talked about the Teros one, the availability of cycle similarity reports, and the new Arroyo Go launch. So if you're new to Arroyo, start small with Arroyo Go. It can be purchased on your phone right now. It's available on our web shop. Um, if you already have Arroyo, talk to us about upgrading your facility to include new absolute crop steering capabilities. But no matter what you do, partner with us and work with us to drive the next step in cultivation, technology, and success. Thank you for your attention and time.